Still tuned into the Power Station Energy 100 with myself, Elsie Timingani, doing what I must do. And we are busy with a corner chat. Let's talk business with Mr. Daniel Steinman. Now, of course, we are talking measuring prosperity. Mr. Daniel Steinman did explain to us uh, what gross domestic product is. And he gave us a very simple example so that we can understand how this plays a role in the economy and also how it actually actually affects us on a daily basis. But moving into uh, GDP per capita, Mr. Daniel Steinman. Tells me, the reason why I gave that very simple example mm. is to illustrate the problems yeah. with GDP. Yeah. You know, in the sense that all transactions or the the sum total of transactions that you measure on a daily basis, basis. or monthly or quarterly or annual basis there's a limited pool of money mm. and there are two concepts the, the one is what they call money in circulation it's yeah. or M2 is the technical term which is just a designation of sort of how much cash mm. is circulating in the economy cash or near cash but I'm not going to split hairs over <laughs> what the difference is and the other one is the velocity of money mm. and that is an indication of how many transactions mm. are there per day mm. with that same one dollar because I've just used the example from you to me and back from me to you mm. but you can imagine there are hundreds of thousands if not millions of mm. transactions every day mm. and our uh, the more they are, the higher the velocity of money. So the faster the cash or um, the pay- the form of payment mm. is circulating through the economy. Mm. And these all have a bearing on prosperity. Yeah. And when you start measuring the other elements, you start realizing but GDP is not very reliable. Mm. I don't want to call it a concocted statistics or contrived, but it is certainly an artificial statistic. Okay. In the real life, GDP does not really exist. Mm. So it's a convention. Mm. It's a way that we agree in economics to measure activity in the economy so that we can come up with a figure, mm. a value, mm. and that's on the macroeconomic side. Mm. So we're looking at the economy of the whole country. Mm. Yeah? We're not looking at your monthly budget and my monthly mm. budget. We're looking on an annual basis. What does Namibia as one entity, how does she do? Mm. How does she perform? Mm. And but just uh, sorry to, to interfere, uh, Mr. Steinman. If you're saying that the GDP is not um, a very reliable, should we say, statistic, uh, what do you mean by that? Is it the fact that, you know, we don't have all citizens working or, you know, providing to the economy or playing a role to the economy? Elsevier, it's a very reliable statistic. Okay. But it's a very unreliable, unreliable. indicator oh. of prosperity. Okay, okay. You see, okay. Yeah. Th- this is the way where people miss the point. Mm. They say, ah, the economy has grown by 3.5%, mm. or 5% is what we want in the mm. which is good. Did your economy grow by 5%? <laughs> Do, do you <laughs> see this this <laughs> fundamental yeah, problem? Yeah, yeah. The, because of the way that GDP is measured, and mm. it's measured very accurately. Mm. And I've explained to you that you often get revisions. Eh? Yeah. As more and more data becomes available, yeah. they they um they sort of update the picture, mm. and it becomes more reliable and more refined. Mm. And um, you can sort of after a year and a half, you can you can trust that that figure. Mm. But the way that it is put together, the framework on which it rests mm. tends to overstate real activity yeah. because of this duplication mm. of the measurement of mm. value mm. through the number of transactions. Yeah. Does yeah. it make sense? Mm. Yeah, it does. So it does. When, when we look at GDP per capita, we take that, that um, turnover of the whole country and we divide it by the number of people in the country. Mm. And then we come up with something like 6,400 US dollars per Namibian. Mm. Now, do you have 
6,400 US dollars <laughs> in your pocket. <laughs> well, wishfully. <laughs> okay. So. Now, when, when we carry on, I'll explain to you why it's a good figure as a comparison, mm. you know, but it's an average. Mm. And in real life, nobody lives averages. Yeah, ne. let's quickly go for a short break while we process that. And of course, uh, there's more to come after this. Still tuned into the Power Station Energy 100 with myself, Elsa B. Timignani, doing what I must do. And we are busy with a corner chat list of business with Mr. Daniel Steinman. Now, of course, we are talking measuring prosperity. Mr. Daniel Steinman did explain to us uh, what gross domestic product is. And he gave us a very simple example so that we can understand how this plays a role in the economy and also how it actually actually affects us on a daily basis. But moving into uh, GDP per capita, Mr. Daniel Steinman. Also me, the reason why I gave that very simple example mm. is to illustrate the problems yeah. 